So this second set of heads are very easier to draw compared to the previous ones which I have dealt with. Starting here, we have something called round top countersunk head. Again, the only the thickness of the plate will be given. Depending on which, you have to calculate all these other values. I have calculated them over here. So starting, what you have to do here is, you have to start with the axis. First, of course, we will have to draw the diameter, which is half of 19, that is 9.5, offset of 9.5 on both sides. Trim this off. Then I need 0 0.25 over here, which is 4.75. Then I have 45 degrees of taper, which I have to take from the bottom point over here. And if this 45 degrees is not showing up, you'll have to change this polar settings to 45 and ensure this polar setting is on. Do this on both the sides. Then trim off the extra sides which you don't need. You have the top part ready. Now coming to the height of this bolt head, we have 0 0.2 times the diameter. That comes out as 3.8. So offset 3.8. And I can take an arc to join these three points. A enter, first, second, and the third point. So this completes our diagram. I just need to delete these extra lines to give the finishing look to the rivet. Coming over here, we have something called flush countersunk head. Again, only the thickness of the blade is given. You have to calculate all the dimensions and start drawing it. First of course we will again start with the diameter offset 9.5 which is half of 19 mm and then over here we have 0 0.25 I have calculated it as 4.75 offset it below. Again I need 45 degrees on both the sides so again I have to draw 45 degrees as I have told previously, you have to ensure that the polar setting is on and uh, the angle setting is kept fixed at 45 degrees. These lines are not visible. So this completes the flush countersunk head. Coming to the next, we have something called flat head. For the flat head, again, you have to do calculations and uh, you have to again start with the center line. As usual, I have to offset 9.5 on both the sides and then I have to take the height which is 0 0.25 times D I'm getting it as 4.75 then offset 2 times D which is 18 technically I just have to take offset of 19 on both the sides which will double it up now I'll just extend these lines and trim these off if it is not trimming, you just have to delete it. And I'll just trim these off. Now what we require here is round edge. So for doing that, you have to take a circle with this midpoint joining here and move it. Move this point, this quadrant, over to the midpoint. So this is what we want here. Now this, now this what you have to do is, to you have to trim it this part and the top part of course we don't need it delete this part mirror it about the central axis to get the other side and once again trim off these sides we've got it again this bottom side is not visible so I'll just trim it off so this is how you get the flat head type of rivet and finally this one truss head it's very very simple all you have to do is take an offset of 0 0.25D, 4.75 and 2 times diameter is the total diameter so I will just have to take offset of 19 on both the sides. Then I can just take arc command with A enter, first point at the left side, then on the axis the second point and the last point over here which completes the truss head also. Finally, after everything is done, you may of course have to do some uh, hatching. 
So in order to hatch do hatching, you have to take H enter, choose ANSI 31 as the hatch pattern and pick point inside. So since all this plate is the same, I'll just create the same pattern on all of them. After everything is done, I have to do some decoration. So I'll just select whichever line I want in solid. These lines are axis lines. So I'll just move them to the axis layer. I might have to extend it a little for the axis lines to show up. Now you can't see any thickness over here. To see the thickness, you have to give LW command and make sure this display line weight is turned on. So now you can see the thickness of this. So I'll just match properties. The command is MA. Select the object for all the properties of which you want to apply and select all those objects to which you want to apply those properties one by one. So all these lines are visible edges. Hence, I'm turning it to solid layer. Okay. And finally, the the hatching lines, I'll just move it to the dimensioning layer to get them the same thickness. Okay, so that's about everything that we need. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this, subscribe to the channel to keep yourself updated with more videos.